I'm doing on it. Excitement. Um, we've uh, achieved nothing yet, really. Um, we failed in our main task to, to get in the top two promotion spots, but um, the reason we were, we were so delighted the other night was the fact we were lingering about 13th, 14th in, in Christmas time. So, great achievement to get here, but um, it's only half a job, and um, we're all excited to get going, and, and hopefully, we can use that enthusiasm and energy to, to spur us on to victory. <laughs> um, if you ask me in February, no, uh, I was already on Skyscanner, um, to be honest. But uh, I think with, with Tyrone signing, Courtney, um, Jack coming back from injury, I think a lot of things started going away. Um, started getting a little bit of confidence and, and momentum, and then you start to believe. Um, it's still a bit, bit far off at times, but we managed to do it, and uh, thankful we're in the final now. Yeah, I've been delighted. I think um, when I signed, I just wanted to to make an impact, um, to make as much of an impact um, has been a bit surreal, to be honest. Um, when I came down, I just wanted to try and become um, a good member of the squad and then become a regular. Um, but things started to happen pretty quickly. Um, started to gain the respect to the the players, the the coaching staff, and the support rather quickly. And, the season's been a bit of a, a whirlwind, but I feel as if um, it's been my best uh, season of my career and, and hopefully I can, can carry it on and top it off. What would it mean to you to end that season with victory at Wembley? It'd be, it'd be crazy. I think you always, even when you're playing Scottish football, you always keep an eye on that, that playoff final. Um, and one day you think, well, I'd love to play in that game. And now we've got that opportunity. and. Um, you won't remember it too fondly if you get beat. So um, all I'm thinking about is uh, is getting this club promoted and, and making this a uh, a special day for us all. Obviously, they, they did suffer that disappointment last season. You were part of that team, but can you you can the team use that as a as a motivation and a driving force to not repeat that? Uh, there's no there's no doubt the the team of we've, we've all mentioned it. Um, They've spoken about their experiences of last year and, and how low they felt. And I think as a club, um, we're using that to, to drive us on. Um, I think everyone suffers if, if you don't win. Uh, there's that much hype and, and pressure on the game. Um, we need to use that to spur us on, not to happen again. I think we, we're all thinking about the, the positive side, how good it will feel if we win, um, what it will do for the club. and. Um, and the ambitions that everyone has here um, to go and make Villa successful again and, and we've got the opportunity over 90 hopefully hopefully not 120 uh, to do that Jack Greenish has made a big impact since his return what does he bring to the team and what's he like playing with it in midfield and uh, he's good to, good to play with um, I think everyone knows how good a player he is um, at one stage in his career, he's definitely going to be an England player. Um, I think he could comfortably do that at the minute. Um, but we as teammates need to help him get back to the Premier League. And I think once um, or if we, we do that, um, that'll be the first thing that happens. Uh, he's a top class player, but I think what people don't see is, is his work rate off the park. Um, he's in here constantly, uh, working on his physique, uh, working on his weaknesses. And, I think people get the wrong wrong perception of him. He's been a brilliant leader for us over the past ten weeks and um a really good teammate as well. I was going to say, you know, there is that perception and the stories we've heard before. What is he like as as a captain? I think everyone just everyone just sees the, the haircut and the and the sunbeds, don't they? Um they don't see um the how motivated they can be uh, to bring success to this club. Um him and Ollie down the stairs work work ever so hard to to make him become the, the, the best player he can be. And I think, for me personally, to, to play alongside him in midfield, I'm, I'm lucky and I think us as a club are, are lucky to have him. And um, Since since Chesey uh, picked up a few injuries, he's, he's become captain. And yeah, I think he's he's used that extra pressure to, to kick his game on to the next level. And it's something um, that we've thrived on and I don't think we'd be in, be in the playoffs without him. And I think it's been a big friendship as well. There seems to be that, that real spirit there. 
Hi. No, I think everyone's sort of bonded a lot more now. Um, it's always more difficult when you're you're not getting the results. Um, but I think now there's a great rapport between the, the supporters and the players, and I think the fans feel like they've got their club back again. Um, no matter what happens next Monday, um, to go on that run and, and get us here um, w was incredible. Um, but we know how good it would be if we if we got promoted, and I think the the closeness of the group and um, the relationship with the supporters has is, is massively helped it. And what about Derby? Has their performance against Leeds put a bit of fear into you? Uh, no, not at all. I think um, even though um, we managed to get the better of them over the two games we've played, um, I don't think we've got a fair reflection of, of how dangerous a side they can be um, in a, the both games against them. They didn't have Mason Mount and a few other injuries at the time. so. We're under no illusions how, how difficult a game it will be. Um, we've got a top-class manager uh, full of attack and energetic, enthusiastic players, uh, similar to us. So um, for the neutral, it will be, be very exciting, but it might not be for our tickers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think our manager's got a reputation of playing attack and fast football and, and so does Frank Lampard so I think it will suit us the way that Derby play but then um, if we put the, the shoe on the other foot uh, it will suit Derby the way we play um, so we've got to work on their strengths um, and, and try and exploit their weaknesses and um, we'll be in working hard all week to, to try and do that and um, I'm sure it'll be a high scoring game but hopefully we can win the, uh, the winning side of that. I think everyone knows the size and stature of this place. Um, the following we get each week, whether that's home or away, uh, is massive. Um, obviously, they've they've went through a, a tough time over the past few years, so it would be great to, to be able to give something back and, and give them the success that they're craving, and uh, it really would be incredible. <laughs> well, I've tried it a few times. I don't know if, if anyone was watching the, uh, the second leg. I tried it in the last minute and ended up a shy, I think. So... Um, maybe that was a one-off, but uh, hopefully I can save it for the final. No uh, yeah, I definitely looked up to him. Uh, no doubt, uh, a top player who achieved so much in his in his career. Um, I didn't ba base my game on him at the time because uh, mine was Henrik Larson. I had the, the tongue out and my arms out, so um, he he could have came down the list a wee bit through Henrik. So um, now he was someone that probably now I, I try and do a lot more of what he done, uh, get in the box late, uh, arrive and get goals for the team. But um, you can see he's used it, his experience on the part to help Derby um, progress, and uh, they've been a massive threat all season. And, Hopefully we can catch him in an off day. No, I think um, there's a few like that. Um, obviously, Stephen Gerrard up the road. Uh, see it first hand. Um, he started well with Rangers, and uh, and so is, uh, is Frank Lampard. Um, I think with the experiences they've had in the game, um, they've experienced top class managers, seen how they've worked, and they probably take the good things off them and uh, and adapt their style slightly. So. It's no surprise to me, and, and we've got JT obviously here, who one day will, will hopefully go on and, and be the same as them. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.